On April 17, 1955, Albert Einstein experienced internal bleeding caused by the rupture of an abdominal aortic aneurysm, which had previously been reinforced surgically by Rudolf Niesen in 1948. He took the draft of a speech he was preparing for a television appearance commemorating the State of Israel's 7th anniversary with him to the hospital, but he did not live long enough to complete it. Einstein refused surgery, saying, I want to go when I want. It is tasteless to prolong life artificially. I have done my share, it is time to go. I will do it elegantly. He died in Princeton Hospital early the next morning at the age of 76, having continued to work until near the end. During the autopsy, the pathologist of Princeton Hospital, Thomas Stoltz Harvey, removed Einstein's brain for preservation without the permission of his family, in the hope that the neuroscience of the future would be able to discover what made Einstein so intelligent. Einstein's remains were cremated and his ashes were scattered at an undisclosed location. In his lecture at Einstein's memorial, nuclear physicist Robert Oppenheimer summarized his impression of him as a person, he was almost wholly without sophistication and wholly without worldliness. There was always with him a wonderful purity at once childlike and profoundly stubborn.